How much do you think the most expensive typo in history could cost? $1,236,000, $225,000,000, or $14,017,000? That's the decent amount of money that set back a Japanese investment banking and securities firm, Mizuho Securities. The brand offered 610,000 yen per one share in JCOM on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. That's over $5,500. But it hit the staff later on that the figures were inverted. Because of that, as many as 610,000 shares were bought for just one yen apiece. I'm inviting you to participate in a quiz where you'll find out why is it better not to drink alcohol if you're a ship's captain? Why shouldn't Coca-Cola experiment with flavors? And most importantly, what were the most expensive mistakes in human history? If you correctly estimated the cost of the most expensive typo, you already have one point. Do you have any idea what character could do the damage amounting to $3,400,000,000? A drunk captain of an oil tanker, a lost hunter, or a private who took pity on a German soldier? It turns out, Jennifer Lawrence isn't the only one who can drink in the workplace. If alcohol helps her give funny interviews, the drunk captain of the oil tanker Exxon Valdez lost control after drinking too much, and 40,000 tons of crude oil were spilled on the coast of Alaska. The oil company spent around $3.5 billion to clean up the coast. Whereas the next character was utterly sober when in 2003 he got lost in the woods of San Diego County. His inability to start a fire caused one of the most devastating fires in state history. The fire destroyed more than 100,000 hectares of forest, demolished 2,800 buildings, and took the lives of 15 people. The cost of the damage was $1,200,000,000. But that's nothing compared to Henry Tandy's mistake. During the First World War, this British private found an unarmed, wounded German soldier in a ditch, but he decided to spare his life. The soldier lived his life a genuinely bright way. He established the Third Reich and started the Second World War. Yes, that soldier was Adolf Hitler. And that's the most expensive mistake because Henry could have prevented the devastating consequences of the war, the damage of which is beyond money. But sometimes a person's foolishness can result in their own significant financial loss. Who do you think could make a blunder that costs the most? The Russian Tsar Alexander II, actor Kurt Russell, or the Apple One Operation Manual creator? In a scene in Quentin Tarantino's movie The Hateful Eight, Kurt Russell's hero snatches a guitar from the hands of his captive and breaks it in a rage. The actress played an instrument from the Guitar Museum, and that instrument cost $40,000. So the thing to be broken was its copy, and Kurt mistakenly broke the original. You tell him I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? But the stupidest thing was done by Tsar Alexander II. He decided to get rid of Alaska, which didn't benefit him in any way. The United States bought it from the Russian Empire for $7,200,000. After the deal was done, Alaska turned out to be rich in gold and oil. Current estimates indicate that Alexander II could have made $200 billion on those lands. But Ronald Wayne could have won the competition for the most messed up decision among our contemporaries. He was the one who drew Apple's first ever logo and wrote the manual for Apple One. However, strained relations with Jobs made him sell 10% of the shares for $800. If Ron had retained them, they would have cost at least $35 million today. 
But there were times when creators overestimated their developments, which cost them a pretty penny. Guess which of these projects failed most miserably? Coca-Cola's new flavor, London's Millennium Bridge, or NASA's space probe to Mars? Coca-Cola was trying to win an eternal race with Pepsi, so it released a new version of sugary soda, but the customers didn't like it. The company spent $4 million on new flavor development, and it had some unsold new Coke for another $30 million. But the new Millennium Bridge was very popular with Londoners. However, the engineers didn't expect crowds of people to circulate across the bridge, and as a result, the structure started wobbling. It took $6,300,000 to fix the problem. The developer's incompetence was also the main reason for the crash of NASA's Mars Climate Orbiter space probe. It was designed by several teams. The navigation group used a metric system in their calculations, and spacecraft designers provided essential data on acceleration in the English system. And instead of setting off to study the atmosphere of Mars, the probe burned up in it and fell apart. And along with it, $193 million burned up. And that's not the only tragedy that occurred due to a tiny mistake. Which catastrophe do you think was caused by the dumbest reason? Deepwater Horizon oil spill, the sinking of the Titanic, or the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster? In 2010, due to a blast on Deepwater Horizon, an oil spill occurred in the Gulf of Mexico. The accident resulted in the death of 11 people, around 82,000 birds, over 6,000 sea turtles, and more than 25,000 marine mammals, and enormous amounts of fish. And that's because experts misinterpreted the pressure measurements in the well. Economic and environmental losses amounted to $61 billion. A superficial attitude to work led to the sinking of the world-renowned Titanic. Due to the carelessness of staff and skimping on the lifeboats, the crash not only caused a financial loss of $175 million, but also took 1,500 lives. But the weirdest mistake occurred in 2011. The strongest earthquake in Japan's history, and the following tsunami, caused an explosion at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The material damage of the disaster is estimated at $211 billion. But that's not the point. 50 people were evacuated from the scene in critical condition and died in the hospital. And within a few years after the disaster, another 2,304 people died. Yeah, they called it a natural disaster, when in fact, it was human-made. Government structures deliberately delayed making decisions and remained stagnant on eliminating the problem, partly because, traditionally, it's not the dumb thing to object to higher-rank officials in Japan. Anyway, that mistake was the dumbest. Now, let's do the math and check how many correct answers you got. If you got four or five points, you can call yourself Lisa Simpson, who never makes mistakes. Three and two points makes you the organizers of the Academy Awards, who couldn't handle giving the envelope with the name of the correct winner without making a mistake, which embarrassed the creators of La La Land. Now, if you have one point, you're Riddle. Sometimes I accidentally make mistakes in my videos. But in this video, I made three mistakes, and moreover, it was intentional. Oh look, you've already mentioned them in the comments. Well done! I suggest you watch all the rest of the videos from my channel to find mistakes there as well.